All right, so in today's video, I wanna talk about a tandem breaker. Now, not all breaker boxes support these kind of breakers. You have to look up the breaker box that you have to make sure that it does. But a tandem breaker is basically the size of a normal breaker with these two little breakers on it. So uh, in my breaker box, and I'm in it right now, uh, I'm gonna show you and I'll put a picture on the screen that shows a better picture of this, but I've taken out a few of my breakers. Now, of course, make sure safety first. In my position, I turned off my power. Now, of course, there's still power coming in up here, but from here down, there is no power because my breaker's off. But anyway, the way that a tandem breaker has to fit in, at least on my box, if you'll notice, that is a regular breaker point right here. And you can see it looks sort of like a square block. Now you cannot put a tandem breaker there in my box. Now if it looks like this, where you can see it's kind of notched, that's where a tandem breaker would go. So that's why I say you gotta look at the manufacturer to see if the breaker box you have supports a tandem breaker and they don't fit anywhere. So you have to figure out where you're gonna put the tandem breakers. In my position, and I don't know if it's this way with all breaker boxes, the last few slots on both sides are for the tandem breakers and everything above it is for a regular breaker. So I'm actually in the process right now, you can see it looks like a mess. I'm taking breakers out of places where um, the tandem breakers are gonna go. So I'm gonna put my tandem breakers here at the bottom because I've run out of slots. I don't have any more slots available to put a new breaker in. So my plan is to uh, just go ahead and put a tandem breaker in one of these bottom slots, take out the ones that I don't need and, and move them up so I can fit a tandem breaker in. So what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna consolidate, and this is what the tandem breaker will do for you. I'm gonna consolidate these two normal breakers into one tandem breaker. Uh, the way that you fit these breakers in, I think this is pretty self-explanatory if you know anything about breakers, but you can see there's a notch on the bottom. Now, not all breaker boxes are like this, but this one is, this is a uh, square D model, I believe. Uh, but basically, you put it in on one side, you can see those feet go inside one, and then you would push it down. Now, I'm not gonna do that because it's not gonna go there, but basically the inside right there will connect to my spot where the tandem breakers go. All right, so I just replaced these four with those two. Really, if you need extra space open, this is the way to go, as long as your breaker panel supports it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.